Welcome to Gunko Tarot. My name is Brian Griffin. Today I am doing a VR to the tag Tarot Tubers at Home. You'll see we're on the steps. We are not really going to do much of a look at the common living areas. Instead, we'll go right up to the second floor. It's going to take me a minute. That's a 10 foot ceiling on the first floor. We have the same on the second floor, actually. In December of 2020, in the midst of the pandemic shutdown, I had the opportunity to sell the 110 year old decrepit soul sucking money pit that was in disrepair. I was able to sell it for a moderate profit. The buyer, however, insisted on closing as quickly as the state of Ohio allows, which happens to be 10 days. We didn't quite make it 10 days. It was a little longer. It was paperwork and stuff, but we did close before Christmas and then moved. So we found a space, moved, packed up, cleaned the house, etc., and did it all into this space half the square footage of the house. So it was a, uh, it was a something. It certainly was a something. So this room is my office, study, retreat, mystical art space, etc., 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 all in one. So starting from the doorway, there's Mare, we have this bookcase with certain categories of books and lots of bits and pieces. You will notice I have a lot of bits and pieces throughout here and throughout the house. I have lots of stuff because we move a lot and so small things that are memorabilia can move. Um, and you'll see not much in the, on the walls because the wording of the lease technically doesn't permit a single thing in the wall. So you'll see that um, we don't have curtains, we have blinds that are pre-installed, and I have, for example, added a flag that is hung with um, rope around the blind mechanism, not, so not actually punching holes. So there's that. We have this bookcase, metal bookcase, has lots and lots of bits and pieces in tubs. Um, it's covered not because I'm embarrassed to show you what's there, but because Merrick likes to climb and he wants cat hair everywhere, and I don't. And so on top of this unit is the stuffed beasts that have traveled with me. Uh, I'm not sure if I've done a video. I know I have done a blog post with the stories behind some of them. Then over on the main mystical arts unit, I have my rainbow bears. Behind that is a uh, photographic background cloth that I that's 20 feet long and I just haven't properly folded it and so it's up there. So coming down the unit, the top shelf are my non-tarot oracle cards and on the left side are the few decks I have to rehome the bag with my Sincerely 78 subscription envelopes, and then, as I said, my various non-tarot oracles. The next shelf is the main altar shelf. I will come back to that. Below that, we have the bulk of my tarot decks. My total collection is approximately three dozen tarot and two dozen non-tarot. Most of them are here. There are a few other places which we'll see eventually. Below that, the mystical art books. And below that, more storage and stuff. Because there's always stuff. So, back to the main altar. Starting from the left, we have the first of the four divinities. This is a plushy Baphomet wearing Dad's Knights Templar Cross. Behind Baffy are photographs of Mum and Dad, and behind them some various other 
ancestral pictures, uh, funeral notes, and other memorabilia. Then we have statue of Quan Yin. And followers of my Instagram will recall the month when in the last two weeks of the month, I do the Quan Yin card five times. I took that to be a less than subtle message. So there's Quan Yin. Next to Quan, I have Ganeshi. I have a very small statue, trying to find one that's about the same visual impact as Quan Yin. And, but in the meantime, I have that one and the candle. Beside that, I have this month's Sincerely mailing, the cards and the envelope. The envelope sits over top of the physical remains of Anakin, the last cat to own me possibly forever. Um, and then we have the fourth divinity. This is Arcee, the rubber chicken, divinity of comedy. Also, the manifestation of my spirit guide, whose real name is not Arcee, but is not shared. So a moderate size collection of crystals and stones, um, heavy on the quartz, and then you'll notice a few others an incense burner, space for a candle, etc. So then we have more storage, more photo stuff, an umbrella, the window, storage there, filing cabinet, and then we get to the desktop. Um, I have a fair bit out, even though I try not to keep stuff out because of Merrick, but I have lots of projects on the go. Um, Stuff back there I don't need immediately also keeps someone certain unnamed feline beast from chewing plastic cords and the uh Bowen Bell Bell and a Bell Wen books um with the Spirit Keepers Tarot. The computer. So one of the areas where I am more organized and minimalist is just my desktop. You'll see very few icons. Uh, comes from learning about computers on a Windows 3.11 system. File space was critical. File names never had spaces. Um, old habits die hard. I'm digital, but I also do you, you paper backup. I have a corner with a lot of bits and pieces. Up top, a couple of certifications. My uh, dream board, very small portable dream board six more decks in wooden boxes because of memory issues there's a key there for what's in each one above that the bag has the two decks that i'm using for this month morning daily draws and that is the somnia tarot illustrated edition edition and the garden of lucid daydreams by patrick valenza with its pdf there all sorts of bits and pieces and stuff. Projects on the go. I don't think there's anything there that's super secret. And over here we have more memorabilia. Uh, Janice Ian poster from her last tour. My Jason bits and pieces. The cloth that I use for backdrops. And writing instruments, etc. Uncle post mailings. This is where most of my videos are shot down, sometimes over the top of the printer, or if I need more space, I clean up that area. Outgoing mail, more storage bins. Um, I have a pack rat gene. I have, um, and the desire, as I said, when I, because I move a lot to collect things as memorabilia, especially with memory loss. So it's a constant battle to keep it under control wind chimes that shouldn't be outside, etc. Um, one of the nicest birthday presents I ever got, you'll notice it's not super fancy and super expensive, but Jason got me this, and I value it immensely. And that is a look at this tarot tuber at home. Thanks for watching.